what's up you guys this is Tomo and welcome back to Tomo's piano this channel is for those of you who are like me who wants to start playing piano again in your 40s and above in this video I'm gonna show you how to play salsa piano or what's called montuno with a 2-3 clave pattern I know there are many tutorials on YouTube of how to play salsa piano but you don't know when to use it and, and which songs to play with it so in this video, I'm going to show you what song use these patterns and how to play them. By the way, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so whenever I make the new video, you'll get notified. The basic Montuno pattern I'm going to show you today consists of mainly four notes like this. You hear this pattern of Montuno in the various types of salsa and they're usually used in the beginning of salsa and as the salsa music progress they move on to different types of Montuno but today I'm gonna show you the original four notes pattern again that's the basic and you should get this before you move on to the next one the four notes Montuno pattern I'm gonna be showing you today is for the 2-3 clave pattern and why am I showing you only the 2-3 and not the 3-2 it's because there's far more songs that's made out of 2-3 clave than the 3-2 also I haven't quite mastered the 3-2 Montuno so once I get better at it I might make the video for 3-2 now if you don't know what I mean by 2-3 or 3-2 clave pattern watch my other video how to play salsa clave first because it's very important that you play the salsa piano with the clave beat once you master those clave patterns especially the 2-3 clave I want you to practice clapping the montuno patterns so the montuno pattern goes like this if you play with the metronome it sounds like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You probably notice that the five, six, seven, eight, you're kind of not playing with the beat, but after the beat. So it's called syncopation. Dun, 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 dun. Syncopation is very prevalent in salsa rhythm and you will need to get used to it. So practicing this with uh, also with the metronome and the clave will help you a lot in building that rhythm. So let me use the salsa rhythm app which comes in very handy because it has clave pattern built in. I would turn on the instructor's voice at 1 and 5 and then the clave 2, 3 at 100 beat per minute goes like this one five one five one now you will be five, clapping the montuno one dun, 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 five, dun, 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 dun. one five Now, according to many salsa piano teachers, it's very important to be able to play Montuno with a clave pattern, but they don't really talk about the fact that clave is not always played in every salsa song. In fact, sometimes clave is played by the timbarero, or sometimes clave is played by the singer, but not all the time. So I would recommend you to practice not only with the clave pattern, but also with the conga pattern or the timbar pattern so that you can not only follow the clave but other instruments too and now that you got the clave pattern and the montuno pattern you're ready to play montuno first I'm going to show you how to play la 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 by direct latin influence the music you heard in the beginning of this video by the way if you don't remember what are the note names the ABC, D, E, F, G. You can check out my video that says 
Soulfish and note names. You can look online, what are the note names, but it looks like this. If you have a hard time remembering, they sell the stickers to put on your piano that can be taken off at any time on Amazon. So you can just purchase that. Basically, this La 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 by Direct Latin Influence uses two patterns. The first pattern is A, C, E, and F sharp. So it goes like this. A, C, E, F sharp. That's the first pattern. And the second pattern is G sharp, B, E, and F sharp. So G sharp, B, E, and F sharp. So basically what they do is first they play the first pattern and add A and then move on to the next one. And then add E. So it sounds like this. Now, if you hear it with the music, it goes like this. The next song I'm going to show you is the Trucutu by Tommy Olivencia. Now, this one uses three patterns. First one, C, E flat, A flat, G. E, E flat, A flat, G. Next one is B flat, D, F, A flat. B flat, E, F, A flat. And the last one is A flat, C, E flat, F. A flat, C, E flat, F. So if you notice, in this one, goes down. From C to B flat. And then go down to A flat. And then the last note is G. Now if you play with the song, it sounds like this. The next two songs also use only two patterns, but they are very fast and it's very critical to keep the right tempo playing these songs. So the first one is Cachondea by Fruco, is Sus Tesos and Daniel Silva. The first pattern is A, C, E and F sharp. A, C, E, F sharp. And the next one is G, B, D, F. G, B, D, F. If you actually listen to the music, the fourth time they play the pattern, they change the ending. The first pattern you play three times. The last one you add the D and then you go to the next pattern and then the fourth time you change the ending the ending two notes become F and E so it goes like this So if you play with the music, it sounds like this. And 
the last but not least is La Malanga by Eddie Parmieri. And it uses three patterns. The first pattern is D, F, A, B. And the next one, C, E, G, A. And then it's close to the first one, but the ending is different on the third pattern. D, F, A, C. So if you combine them together, so if you play with the music, it sounds like this. Now, did you get the feel of salsa piano? I hope you did. Now, if you want to practice more, check out my Four Notes Montuno play along video, and then you can get these four songs in a longer version. Now, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.